This is Take Two Movie Review. I'm Kim Lowe. This week, you'll hate yourself if you miss this one. Even those who aren't fans know that Quentin Tarantino's films have a certain formula. Dark humor, fast dialogue, ultraviolence, and usually a performance by Samuel L. Jackson. Therefore, it seems almost fitting that Tarantino's latest offering, The Hateful Eight, plays homage to the classic Hollywood Western, a genre that also has a well-known formula, but with his signature spin. Part mystery and part suspense, The Hateful Eight is set some years after the Civil War and tells the tale of a group of ragtag individuals who seek shelter from a Wyoming blizzard in a stagecoach lodge. Amongst the group is a bounty hunter who is escorting a female prisoner, Daisy, to the nearby town of Red Rock where she is to be hanged. Tarantino takes his time setting the stage and introducing the audience to the characters who, with the exception of the doomed Daisy, all engage in talk until it becomes clear that one or more of them is in cahoots with her. It's from there that the real action begins. The movie, which is shot on 70 millimeter film with vintage lenses, could just as easily be mistaken for a John Ford Western on visuals. However, the movie differs in many respects, not the least of which is that the main character played by Jackson is black. Unlike the old westerns where African Americans were rare and slavery was seldom mentioned, these things are central to the plot. Jackson's speeches about the lingering impact of slavery in the U.S. seems relevant today, especially in light of the Black Lives Matters movement. While this may make some audience members feel uncomfortable, that is exactly what Tarantino is trying to do. While you may not love The Hateful Eight, it will keep you guessing and provide some laughs. This has been Take Two Movie Review. I'm Kim Lowe. Catch up with us at TakeTwoMovieReview.com and feed us back on our page on YouTube.